Growing Up on a Farm in Kentucky. Stories by Stan Schmidt. Episode 37. Outro. So, uh, I'm sure there are a lot of other stories I could tell you about growing up on a farm and how you're close to the life and death of all these animals and you really like some of them and before you know it they get themselves killed or you have to kill them for food or something and you just start I think you mature more reasonably and faster on a farm than you do anywhere else at least in the old fashioned type farms where people raise their own food and I see nowadays I see a lot of young kids that you know they get upset about killing an insect or a bug or something or a frog. I think a few weeks on a farm, a few months on a farm would uh, really give them an education. Do you ever wish that you weren't required to grow up so fast on a farm? Well, in some ways, we grew up slower than people in the city because they saw a lot a lot of times, worse people doing worse things, police arresting them and all kinds of things that go on in the city. And they knew about more, there are more people that did more criminal things and they knew more. We were a little bit naive on the farm because we were kind of isolated. We knew about animals, but a lot of times I couldn't make the extrapolation between animals and humans. It took a lot of graduate school to start even thinking in that way. They didn't teach us that we were like a bit like animals in, in our bodies. So a lot of things, especially about sex, I didn't know anything about. Even though watching every kind of animal you can imagine have sex, I didn't know human beings did it at all. <laughs> Never dawned on me. Your parents never gave you the talk? Nope, never got to talk. I think it was just too much, you know, the, the contrast between animals and humans that we didn't want to ever think we were anywhere near an animal. So, we didn't, we were kind of, at least I was kind of naive. I think my older brother, Frank, was not as naive as I was because he had a lot of city friends that he ran around with learn stuff from. But some things you need to learn earlier and some things in life you're better off not knowing until you get older. <laughs> That's the too complex. So, boy. Do you miss the farm? I still miss the farm because of the peacefulness of it. I was just the last two days I've been helping our neighbor who has a horse farm. She has 18 acres and she's in charge of 80 acres of hay that the township, a farm that the township owns. And they have cattle, they have horses, and, and I've been helping them do some work because her main worker has had a heart problem and can't do the work he used to do. And I find it pretty peaceful. It's almost like going back to your childhood and listening to the birds and the animals and horses and cattle making noises. It brings back those days. So, and I like the hard physical work too. It tells me I still got it. <laughs> well, there you have it. Spending your retirement the same way you grew up. And that's Stan Schmidt on Life on the Farm. My dad was never one to talk about himself much. Instead, he opted to talk about the news, whatever he had been reading lately, how the weather would affect his tomatoes, and the occasional chemical reaction. The few things he would easily share about himself were his stories from Kentucky, about how times have changed, and how the suburban sensibilities of southeast Pennsylvania felt like he was living on a different planet sometimes. 
I always loved hearing about my dad when he was just a kid on the farm, seeing the ways he changed and the ways he's always been the same kind of workhorse. Growing plants, raising chickens, freely wandering the hills, and following the sun home as it dips behind the horizon. Too late to help with dinner, but just in time to get the first plate. And 55 years later, that farm boy is alive and well, napping under shady trees, scratching his head with the curiosities in every book and backyard. It's a privilege to preserve that family history, and I hope you enjoyed reliving some of the stories from the farm.